What if I told you that our universe began with not one, but two Big Bangs? That's right. According to a new paper, there was a second Big Bang, or a dark Big Bang, that created different kinds of dark matter particles. But how can we test this hypothesis? The Big Bang is the most widely accepted theory of the origin of the universe. It states that the universe started from a tiny, dense, and hot point, called the singularity, and then expanded and cooled down over time. It explains many of the observed features of the universe, such as the cosmic microwave background, the abundance of light elements, and the large-scale structure of galaxies. However, it also leaves some mysteries unsolved, such as what caused the singularity, what happened before the Big Bang, and what the nature of dark matter is. A new paper, published in the journal Physical Review Letters, suggests that there was a second Big Bang, or a dark Big Bang, that created different kinds of dark matter particles, some of which could be very massive. The paper proposes that the second Big Bang occurred when the universe was less than one month old, and that it was triggered by the decay of a hypothetical particle called the inflaton, which was responsible for the rapid expansion of the universe in the first moments of the Big Bang. It claims that this hypothesis could solve two of the biggest mysteries in cosmology, the origin of the universe and the nature of dark matter. It also claims that this hypothesis is testable and could be confirmed or disproved by future gravitational wave experiments. In this video, we will explain the main ideas of the paper, how they could solve the two cosmological mysteries, and how they could be tested by future experiments. We will also discuss the implications and challenges of this hypothesis and how it could change our view of the universe and its origins. So, stay tuned and get ready to explore the dark side of the Big Bang. The new study is based on a model of the early universe called inflation, which is a theory that states that the universe underwent a brief period of exponential expansion in the first fractions of a second after the Big Bang. Inflation explains why the universe is flat, homogeneous, and isotropic, and why it has tiny fluctuations in temperature and density that seeded the formation of galaxies and stars. It is driven by a hypothetical particle called the inflaton, which has a very high energy and a negative pressure, and it decays into ordinary matter and radiation, ending the inflationary phase. However, the paper proposes that the inflaton also decays into dark matter, and that this decay triggers a second Big Bang, or a Dark Big Bang. The paper suggests that the Dark Big Bang occurred when the universe was about 10 to the power of negative 35 seconds old, and that it created different kinds of dark matter particles, some of which could be very massive, up to 10 to the power of 19 electron volt, or about 10 billion times heavier than the proton. It also suggests that the Dark Big Bang was asymmetric, meaning that it produced more dark matter than anti-dark matter, and that this asymmetry could explain why the universe has more matter than antimatter. The paper argues that the hypothesis of the Dark Big Bang is motivated by two of the most fundamental questions in cosmology, the origin of the universe and the nature of dark matter. It claims that the hypothesis could address both of these questions, and that it has important implications for the history and structure of the universe. It also claims that the hypothesis is consistent with the existing observations and data, and that it makes testable predictions that could be verified or falsified by future experiments. So how does the paper solve the problem of the origin of the universe? The standard cosmological model does not explain what caused the initial singularity or the initial conditions of the Big Bang. It is also known as the Lambda CDM model, and is the most widely accepted model of the universe. It describes the evolution of the universe from the Big Bang to the present day, and it is based on the general theory of relativity and the cosmological principle. The Lambda CDM model assumes that the universe is composed of ordinary matter, dark matter, dark energy, and radiation, and that it is governed by six parameters, such as the Hubble constant, the density of matter, and the cosmological constant. It also agrees very well with the observations and data, such as the cosmic microwave background, the large-scale structure of galaxies, and the expansion rate of the universe. However, the Lambda CDM model does not explain what caused the initial singularity 
or the initial conditions of the Big Bang. The initial singularity is a point of infinite density and temperature where the laws of physics break down. The Lambda CDM model does not tell us what happened before the Big Bang, what triggered the Big Bang, or why the Big Bang had the properties that it had. This model also does not explain why the universe has more matter than antimatter, or why the universe is flat, homogeneous, and isotropic. These are some of the unsolved problems and puzzles of the standard cosmological model. The paper proposes that the initial singularity was a quantum fluctuation that produced both ordinary and dark matter. It also proposes that the initial conditions of the Big Bang were determined by the properties of the dark matter particles, such as their mass, spin, and charge. It shows that the hypothesis of the dark Big Bang is consistent with the observed properties of the cosmic microwave background, the relic radiation from the early universe. The paper also shows that the hypothesis could explain why the universe has more matter than antimatter, and why the universe is flat, homogeneous, and isotropic. It claims that the hypothesis of the dark Big Bang could solve the problem of the origin of the universe, and that it could provide a new perspective on the history and structure of the universe. So how does the paper solve the problem of the nature of dark matter? Dark matter is a mysterious substance that makes up most of the matter in the universe, but its composition and origin are unknown. It is one of the most intriguing and elusive phenomena in the universe. It is estimated that dark matter accounts for about 85% of the matter in the universe and about 27% of the total energy density of the universe. However, we have never directly detected dark matter and we don't know what kind of particles it is made of or how it interacts with itself and with ordinary matter. We only know that dark matter exists because of its gravitational effects on ordinary matter, such as the rotation of galaxies, the bending of light, and the formation of large-scale structures. It is one of the biggest mysteries and challenges in cosmology, and many experiments and theories have been proposed to try to identify and understand it. The paper suggests that dark matter is composed of different kinds of particles, some of which are very massive and could have been created by the dark Big Bang. The paper also suggests that dark matter could have a rich structure and dynamics and could interact with ordinary matter in various ways. It predicts that the massive dark matter particles could produce gravitational waves, ripples in space-time that could be detected by future experiments, such as the Laser Interferometer Space Antenna, LISA. The paper also predicts that the interactions between dark and ordinary matter could produce observable effects in the distribution and evolution of galaxies and stars, such as the formation of dark matter halos, the suppression of star formation, and the enhancement of gamma ray emission. It claims that the hypothesis of the dark Big Bang could solve the problem of the nature of dark matter and that it could reveal new physics and phenomena in the dark sector of the universe. In conclusion, the paper offers a new perspective on the history and structure of the universe and challenges some of the assumptions and predictions of the standard cosmological model. The paper also opens new possibilities for exploring and understanding the dark sector of the universe, which could reveal new physics and phenomena. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask or share in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you next time.